Hello and welcome finally to yet another Nuclear Craft update video. It's been way too long, I'm so sorry about this guys. Uh, I said, I think about three weeks ago now, that I was going to do another one of these. Um, and it just didn't really happen. Uh, I was pretty busy for a couple of weeks. Um, and then this last week, um, I've just been watching The Ashes, which is, for those who don't know, it's a cricket match between England and Australia. I've just been watching that, unfortunately. Um, and for those who are interested in the progress of the overhaul, the overhaul has now begun. I'm now working on the overhaul. Um, the Nuclecraft version 2. Point whatever is basically finished. Um, so I now need to do all these update videos to catch up and then start uh, doing some videos maybe about... Uh, the overhaul if we get to that stage. So we'll see how, where we are when we get there, but for now we've got about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six update videos to do. Um, version 2.13 is this one, because um, I think the last one I did was at Christmas, which was version 2.12. So this is version 2.13, all the minor versions of 2.13. Uh, and the first thing that got added, um, well, actually, no, I, I haven't. I've done it like this. So I've basically got all of the change logs for the version 2.13, A, B, C, D, etc., and just put them all in a big list from sort of most important stuff to least important stuff. Um, so let's see. So the first thing that got added was turbines. Uh, turbines is quite important. They're over there. Um, it's actually not rendering at the moment inside because uh, as of later versions, they now have a render. So if we get close enough. Uh, you'll actually see that they now actually have a sort of, uh, you know, rendering, rotating rotor. Um, but we'll get to that later on when uh, we get to version 2.18, because uh, that was when it was added. Um, but yeah, we've got turbines now, and uh, it's used in the whole heat exchanger MSR cycle. Uh, in the overhaul, they'll have a much more central role, because even the solid fuel reactors will generate steam, so you're going to have to set yourself up a turbine. Um, basically, the way that turbines work are explained in the... Uh, two-stage uh, steam cycle video, uh, but basically it's what turbines do from every other mod. You put in steam uh, and you generate power. The difference with nuclear craft is that you get out a waste product, which is another type of steam. So for example, if we just look at turbine here, um, we can look at the recipe. If we look at the uses, you can see that, for example, you can put in high pressure steam uh, at a rate of 16 RF per millibucket and you will get out exhaust steam. Low pressure steam uh, goes to low quality steam at a rate of 4 RF per millibucket and normal steam from like mechanism or you know big reactors or whatever uh, at again 4 RF per millibucket goes to low quality steam as well. And you can then use the low quality steam in the condens condensation tubes to make you condensate water and uh, as I say check out the video to look at how that loop works. Uh, I did a whole setup over there. Okay moving on, uh, Geiger counter block has been added uh, which is this thing. So when you put it down in a chunk it will tell you what the radiation level is. So apparently in this chunk it's one uh, millirad per tick. Uh, that is actually true. It's because I'm wearing a hazmat suit that that doesn't show properly. So if I take off this hazmat suit, you'll see that it's uh, one, one per tick. It actually says 625 nanorads there. I wonder why it says one millirad per tick. Is it because I've got some sort of... Oh, it's because I've got these on. There we go. That's better. Okay, so yeah, one millirad per tick. I got really confused there for a second. It's because I was wearing some boots on my head, apparently. Um, never mind. Uh, let's put that back on again. So yes, that is uh, that is uh, pretty good. And it's also got OC support. So, for example, uh, it looks like I haven't actually uh, put one here. But if I put a Geiger counter block down here, you'll see it connects up to an OC computer. And I can... Uh, hook up the uh, gun counter block using just the normal you know OC uh, thing and now I can actually uh, use the Geiger counter and uh, start reading information off it by uh, using the old um, get chunk radiation level boom and it prints 0.001 which is one millirad and as you can see it is one millirad. well you can't see because I'm wearing a hazmat suit now but that is what the radiation level is there we are. So that's how it works. I, as I say, I'm not good with the not good with open computers, so I don't know how you'd actually set up a program for this. There are people like Bob in the Nuclecraft Discord server who will probably write something for this at some point, um, but who knows. Um, scrubbers also uh, now have radiation support, uh, sorry, OC support. So if I uh, go back to scrubber, so the scrubber um, has a command and it is, um, so first of all, get efficiency or get radiation removal rate. So the efficiency of this one apparently is 79.5 and uh, the uh, removal rate, ooh, what's happened there? The removal rate is apparently minus 0.0014 rads per tick. Let's have a look. Uh, 142 micro rads per tick, yeah, that sounds about right. And it's got efficiency of 80%, which is what it said in the OC computer. Um, so there we are, that's, uh, that's OC support for the scrubber. Um, the scrubber radiation uh, removal rate sort of system has changed a little bit since the uh, the radiation spotlight that I did like absolutely ages ago. 
Um, I think back then it always removed 25 millirads per tick, um, but now uh, they remove a maximum of 12.5% of the radiation in the chunk. So for example, if there was um, 100 millirads per tick of radiation in the chunk, it would remove about 12.5% of that um, at maximum efficiency. So for example, this one here is removing 142 microrads. If I take off all of my hazmat here, you will see that the current radiation done it again. This is so weird when it does that. Um, you can see that the current radiation level is one millirad per tick. Um, and apparently 12.5% uh, times 80% is, uh, well that, what's that? That's 10% that's, uh, so 10% of the radiation level is being removed by this scrubber. So that means that the actual radiation level is actually about 1.4 millirads per tick. It's just that the, uh, the death hole places are cut off in this graphic. Um, but this is removing now 10% of the chunk radiation. So which would mean that I would need like another 10 scrubbers to totally remove the radiation from this chunk. Um, so that's basically how they now work. They remove a percentage of the total radiation of the chunk uh, rather than removing a sort of a flat rate. So it means that if the uh, radiation level is incredibly ridiculous, like, you know, 100 rads per tick, then you'd still only need, you know, 9 or 10 scrubbers um, to completely clear out the radiation. Um, so that's basically how they now work. Okay, moving on. Um, to the next thing. I think that was put in a complete wrong order, but never mind. Um, next thing, uh, added short-lived radiation immunity on death from fatal radiation dose. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually uh, do this quickly. So let's drop all this on the floor and uh, hold a bit of uh, horrible stuff like Californium or something. Um, if I get a Californium block, just hold it in my inventory for a bit and go to game mode S. Game mode S. You'll see when I die, uh, I should get a little bit of immunity when I die. So I'm getting a little bit of effects, and now I'm dead. And when I respawn, hopefully if I pick up my guide counter, you can see I'm, a, I'm immune for 86 seconds. So although I started with 75%, I think, of the radiation that I died with, um, I'm immune for 80 seconds. So that means that you have a little bit of time to go and sort of deal with the problem if uh, anything bad happens. Um, you can change that in the configs, of course, as with everything in Nuclecraft, Craft, it's all configurable. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty useful. That was a suggestion, I think. I, I'm sorry if I can't remember who suggested that, but it's a good suggestion, I'd say. Um, next thing is added thorium, uranium, magnesium, and chocolate as Tinker's Construct materials. Yes, yeah, so if I get uh, the TIC, uh, hang on, Tinker's Construct book, what's it called? Is it by Skylar? Yes, here it is. Uh, if I look in this book, you will see that there are some new materials on offer. Um, from Nuclear Craft. So before, we had the, uh, the materials that are used for the tools, which were boron, tough alloy, hard carbon, and boron nitride. Now we have thorium and uranium, magnesium, and chocolate. Um, and thorium and uranium have some sort of slightly sort of, you know, withering effects and poison effects. So sort of, uh, you know, that sort of thing, as you'd expect. Magnesium is a sort of like silver, so I've given it a, you know, lightweight and holy effect. And then chocolate's a bit like paper, because obviously it's not a very uh, sort of durable material. I'm pretty sure in the uh, world of industry, chocolate has not been used um, very often for building uh, heavy machinery. So instead I've given it some uh, sort of interesting custom traits such as uh, blend additional modifiers into your tool. I believe that Mitra Chocolatier, I think I pronounced that terribly, um, is I think like the lint like logo, or like the lint uh, saying, what's it called? The catchphrase for lint. I think, I think that's right. And uh, this day we fight. I'm guessing that's a Lord of the Rings quote. I made these ages ago, but I'm trying to guess what, what that is. Um, so yes, that's that, uh, which is uh, interesting. You might want to use that instead of paper for a bit of a laugh. Who knows? Um, looks like I'm having a little bit of trouble with radiation here. Let me get a bit of rad away uh, quickly. Let's get a couple of those. Let's sort that out. Okay, cool. Um, next, added Constructs Armory support for all those materials as well. So yes, Constructs Armory. I don't know if I have Constructs Armory installed, do I? It looks like I do. Um, but yes, if I type in Construct Nuclear Craft, you'll see that I've got all of the Nuclear Craft stuff for Construct Armory, so the uh, normal tool materials plus the thorium, uranium, uh, magnesium, and chocolate for uh, for Tinker's uh, for Tinker's uh, what's it called Construct Armory, and uh, again the chocolate will have interesting traits. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's that's pretty cool. And I think looking at this list, that's all of 2.13 gone through. Um, as you could tell, that was a little bit a uh, little bit rough around the edges that uh, that, that spotlight that update video. Um, hopefully, I'll get better at this when I record more. I'll try and get them done over the next few days if I can. Um, next is 2.14, so uh, I look forward to making that. 
And uh, thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions, as, as usual, ask in the comments. Join our Discord server for uh, if you have any more uh, detailed questions or want to just uh, hang out in the awesome community that we have. Um, we've just passed 1,000 Discord members, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and yeah, as I say, uh, you can also keep up to date with the uh, overhaul updates. Um, it's getting pretty exciting now. It's actually starting to uh, come together, finally actually starting to work on it. So uh, wherever I may chat to you next, I look forward to it, and I'll see you in the next video.